All right, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. It's late April here in the Appalachian Mountains. I'm actually not far from my door. I'm in a wet area down here near my house. And today's episode concerns what I've read about the recent spike, the dramatic increase in the number of calls to poison control centers around the country due to plant-based poisonings as people with a new COVID hobby have been going out and going foraging. You have to be really careful if you're going out foraging for plants as well as mushrooms because there are as many toxic species as there are good things to eat. The New England Poison Control Center has reported this recent spring spike, which is, happens each spring, but it's much greater than it has been. The University of Mont Medical Center has reported an, an increase in hospitalizations and people requiring treatment for serious poisoning cases. Here in Virginia, the Blue Ridge Poison Control Center has reported a similar increase in plant-based poisonings. It's really great that people are going out foraging and learning about the plants and the environment around them and taking advantage of the highly nutritious seasonal offerings that nature gives us. However, you really got to be careful. You really got to know exactly what you're looking at. Don't rely on my videos or other videos. I like to talk about what these plants are for, but I'm not a practicing forager and I'm not instructing you to be one. The best thing is always to go out with experienced foragers. This episode is about false hellebore, and it's one of the deadliest of the plants that are out here, and it's the culprit for most of the poison control calls. Apparently, people are mistaking false hellebore for ramps when it first comes up. In this episode, I'm going to tell you how to recognize false hellebore, tell you some of its characteristics and the kinds of poisoning it causes, and show you how it grows in the same habitats as ramps and as well as skunk cabbage. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. So I'm down here streamside in this typical false hellebore habitat. And this is false hellebore growing right here. And you can see that next to it, there's also skunk cabbage growing. And you can see that the leaves are very, very different from the skunk cabbage. These plants are really very beautiful. And like the skunk cabbage, they really stand out with this beautiful green against still the gray background of early spring. You can see that the leaves are coming off a stem. Look for this distinctive ribbing parallel venation that goes from one end of the leaf to the other. As you move up the plant, the leaves get smaller and smaller until you get to this point here where the new leaves are coming out. Apparently the mistakes are made when this plant is first coming up and the first two leaves come up, it resembles somewhat a ramp or wild leek. None of these plants have yet produced a spike for flowers, but when it does flower, it'll produce these unusual raceme of greenish yellow six petaled flowers. False hellebore is highly toxic. Ingestion of false hellebore is going to require emergency room, hospital care. The first symptoms are nausea and vomiting, followed by a drop in blood pressure and a slowing of the heartbeat. Left untreated, this can be deadly. False hellebore contains at least four different toxins. They're considered to be steroidal alkaloids, and they work by disrupting the sodium pump mechanism of your cells. So not only can false hellebore be deadly to humans, it can also be deadly to livestock. And it has caused quite a number of cattle deaths when they were able to have access to it and eat it. There's been some reports of people being poisoned by spring water where false hellebore is growing. So it's really, really a very toxic plant. So if you're new to foraging, 
please be really careful. Please go with someone who's experienced and can direct you to the fine details of identification of edible plants. And also learn to recognize these poisonous ones like this false hellebore here. Remember to look for these very distinctive leaves. Use caution when you're looking for ramps. Look for this parallel veination. It's really a very, very beautiful plant, but it's deadly at the same time. So thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door. If you like what I do on this channel, please give me a like, please subscribe, and leave me a comment. I love hearing from my viewers and interacting with them. So thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.